And that's it, that's how they turn plastic into construction board, rab, roofing, lining, pretty cool. How cool is this? I'm just inside the factory where they've been turning plastic into a building product. Let's go and take a look. Yo, it's Thursday morning and we've rocked up to Saveboard. Jacob saw these guys on the news. We told them about what we've been trying to do on site. I'm diving through a skip bit and working out what we can recycle and what we've been struggling with. This is all our Hardy's weatherboard that we can do nothing but check out once we've used. So here we are, we're about to get a behind the scenes tour of how they turn soft plastic into a building product. This is part of our core of our board, oh, so board. How, how it works is that basically all these pieces under heat and pressure, all the, the plastic coating on either side join together to make the composite. Yeah. So, you know? Yeah, so this is all like, um, that's all the stuff we can't recycle right now. Primo, notch, probably the leak. This machine here is shredding and cleaning old milk cartons and containers that normally would just get chucked out. And then just here we have bales and bales and bales of the stuff ready to go through and get shredded as well. In this bay here we've got a mix of coffee cups and we also have stacks and stacks of shredded paper and the board is a mix of about 70% paper, 30% plastic, although the Tetra board is that perfect mix anyway. So here's where it all gets fed in and we've got a mix of soft plastic and paper. The cool thing about the paper is it's all stuff that a normal recycling mill wouldn't take. It's like old magazines, like waxy stuff. And so they can chuck all of that in, goes up there. Then up in here into here it gets shredded. Into here, this is like a giant concrete mixer. So in here it just mixes it, tumbles it, moves it around, moves over to here and then along down here is the board production line and this is where they turn it from a product like this to a board. So right here we got the paper backing and then we got a plastic layer that glues it all together. Goes in here. 25 micron and then you can see all the shreds which go on the middle. This is the shred that you can see. Here they have the start of that product and then some more layers and we've got a fiberglass roll up there. In here these get heated and pressed. Takes about three to four minutes to make a board. And then right here we have a cold press. This here is the final product, but the edges need to get trimmed. And then this is the finished board. Yeah, so what happens is we cut 100 millimeters off here. Yeah. Right in here is the saw that trims the edges. And then in here is the edges trimmed. Final product here. And then we have a red board here cut to size. These are 2450. And this is the rad board. Yes. So they can do anything from 24 to 3 meters, and these are 2450. And that's it. That's how they turn plastic into construction board, rab, roofing, lining, pretty cool. So that's the one I call my multi use. You can see it's a little bit funkier because it's architectural which we've, what we've done is we've segregated the waste into different colour streams 
So this board we make papers paper both sides. This board is finished like that. So, do pe and do people plaster over this? Yes, it is rougher. Like the surface isn't as beautiful as perfect plaster. Yeah. Here's some of the final products on Paul's phone. We've just been looking at a cafe down in New Plymouth. How cool is that? That they've turned a milk product into a board. And then they're putting it on a wall in a cafe. It's so cool to see it going full circle. This RAV board is approved and, and has been consented on projects throughout New Zealand. So it is a legit alternative product that is available right now that you can put on your build. They've got the technical manuals, got bracing ability.